Alright, what's up guys? So, for those that have never played the video game Homefront the Revolution, Homefront the Revolution could have been a big game, but I felt like that the developers only wanted to release it, get the money, go on about their business. Now, since then, I really don't know, uh, well, because I know like, um, I don't know if Deep Silver is the publishers, hold on for a second, let me, let me see who the, or, uh, the, not publishers, but developers, but, um, publish developed by um damn buster studios i've never heard of them hold on for a second they probably haven't been doing nothing after that game it was like i mean you have to sit down and think about it. it's like you guys came out with a game and dip pretty much so wikipedia are they even still was set up by oh they might not even be in business found it oh no they are no they are um oh so last game that they uh came so they came out with um three video games and uh one being called uh chorus and then dead island 2 so they they have been um working on games but yeah Homefront though it was one of those games where it's like i played it i liked it i thought it was good i just wish that they would have done more with it despite you know the negative things that i have heard of this game it's one of those games where it's like you know maybe if it had like more multiplayer options then i could see why people would have liked it more but it seemed like that they kind of had laid out the formula of a multiplayer option being there at some point and then they just dipped. And I feel like that they still could possibly do some things with this game. I mean, it's it's not too late. Um, I mean, Well, yeah, I know the game did come out in um, 2016. But I'm like, bro, I, I think that with some games that if you... Like, yeah, you know, they, yeah, I know people have, like, their ill feelings to say about it. But here's what I personally think. I think that if they were to actually sit down, all right, they've released Dead Island 2. Or even if they were to come out with another Homefront game, kind of in the same fashion as this, but actually did something with it. Yeah, I feel like, you know, with the money that they most likely have made from uh, Dead Island 2, yeah, I imagine that they would be able to lay out something with um, Homefront. Because, no, it was like, because I think home front it this was a sequel because they came out with a home front uh reboot yeah so they came out with a home front game back in uh 2011 and i think i i didn't really hear too much about it I, I think i remember they made a movie and that that was about it and i think that was like really i don't even know if the movie had anything to do with the video game but yeah then they came out with uh this and I think what it was, uh, was that it released at the wrong time. Because I think also at the same time, um, when this game got released, uh, let's see when the, ver um, the first Division came out. Yeah, they, um, game came out, like, uh, the Division, um, one, that game came out, like, two months prior. So, it, I think with Ubisoft's pull with games, that it's, it's kind of hard to, uh, have it where it's, like, you guys are trying to release a game, and then there's 2016, I feel like, yeah, a lot of different games were out at that time, so maybe if this game were to be released, uh, now, I think, yeah, I think that definitely, um, it would have had, like, more stuff to, uh, not, not so much as more stuff to do, but I feel like it would have, um, like put pressure on the developers to actually uh do something with this game rather than like oh let's just release it because yeah i feel like that during that time um yeah there was a lot of games that were seen that I was seeing where they released and developers just abandoned them and i'm like no nah, i think um if that's the case then it's either one of two things Homefront the Revolution, or yeah, come out with a sequel to like, you know, like, oh, okay, so there was a reason why this um, game was released. Yeah, come out with a sequel or have it where this game is for free because I'm like spending $20 for a game and I'm like, nah, in my opinion, this is either a free game or a $5 game. This would be that one game where you'll see it in GameStops just sitting on the shelves. Nobody's not touching it. It's been the same section for like all four seasons of the year. Uh, what else? Like, yeah, it was just, it's one of those games where it's like, they kind of just give it away, like, oh, well, you know, it's, it's been sitting in our inventory, and ain't nobody gonna buy it, so if you want it, you can take it. Like, it's, it's one of those games where it's, uh, yeah, it's just, you know, play it for the story, and then that's, that's about it. I really think, though, that like, that's all that there is to this game is the story, and that's it, because I'm like, the times when I played it, I don't, I'm trying to think, did they have a, uh, online option? It might have, like, a co-op. I think it had, like, a co-op option, yeah. 
yeah, it had like a co-op um, option. But other than that, it's like you can't play the game entirely by yourself. You don't have to play the game um, with people and things. So, yeah, what I personally think, though, with this game is that maybe if they, yeah, were to do some updates, um, come out with some new stuff, some uh, DLCs. Because I don't think they came out with any uh, DLC. Hold on for a second. Let me see real quick. If they did, it was like I don't remember hearing about it. Um, but... Yeah, I think these are like the same DLCs that came out when um, the game had originally released. Because I don't think any of these DLCs are uh, new. That came with the game. Because I was like, I hadn't, I didn't buy nothing with this uh, game. Yeah, that came out. Uh, develop. So that was 2016. 2016, July. So it's like all the stuff that they did was like um, in 20... Let, let, let's see where this one was released. So it was like the last, yeah, it's like either this game needs to be free um, or because I, I just think that it's misleading. It's like, you know, somebody that's just getting into video games and then they see this and then they probably think like, oh, it's a video game worth getting into. And then they see that nothing's really been done to it because I know I've made that mistake where I've bought video games. And yeah, especially when I was like very first, like, well, kind of like, you know, just getting a little bit more into gaming. Uh, but then, yeah, especially doing, uh, like, uh, getting into content creating, yeah, it was like, it was, um, it, it's messed up when you buy a game, and then developers ain't doing nothing with it, and it's like, bro, it was a waste of time, so, either I think that the game should be free, because I don't think that you guys would be losing out on any money if this game were to be free, I feel like nobody wasn't really fooling with it back then, maybe if the game was free, then yeah, um, or even have it, I don't even know if it was a part of, like, a games with, um, gold, or if, like, uh, PlayStation did, like, one of those free things but if they did then yeah i think um do that come out with some like dlcs to actually you know give the game like all right so yeah give it like one of those next gen upgrades put some uh dlcs into the game and have like more of a multiplayer option i think this game could actually be good but if nothing's gonna be done to it then i think the game should uh be free i'm like there's because there's no reason to spend no 20 dollars on this game this is like i said this game is a five dollar or free game so but anyways, and that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And peace.